Hey everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about an accessory from Genosgarage.com. It's their cup holder assembly that bolts to the middle front seat console. So we're going to go in a little more detail about what it's about and how to install it. So let's go ahead and check it out. One of the biggest issues I have about the actual factory cup holder symbol is that I do have to reach down. Um, put my cup in here, of course. It doesn't. It fits in here, but it's not that snug. It's a little bitter over here. The problem I have is if I use this outer one from time to time and I take a corner real tight or I have to hit the brakes, it can roll out because that is top heavy. I also don't have a really good place to put my phone. I could throw it in here to the side, but usually I've got other things. Uh, it's down low, hard to see. Um, you could place it in different places, but it just doesn't seem to fit as well as it should. So having to reach down here is more of an inconvenience than actually having a cup holder up here. Now this is the solution that Geno's is offering. This one fits my 2007 model. They do make them for other years as well. It's basically going to be using a portion of the upper console. We open the lid, it's going to sit down inside, and then the front portion with the cups and the little storage compartment are going to extend outward. It's made out of pretty thick plastic here, so the sides, they flex a little bit, they don't flex that much. So it's actually got some strength, unlike some of the cheap plastic you see out there these days, the, the cheap little uh, real thin ABS plastic. It's nothing like that. This is actually a lot thicker, so it's got some conformity to it, so you don't have to worry about it flexing too much. You could paint this if you want. I'm using mine as a matte black finish the way it came. It's gonna work fine for my center console. It's got the cutout here for your power outlet. You also got the latch opening and you got your two deep pocket cup holders and your little storage bins. Now the kit comes with a detailed set of instructions. Inside there's gonna be a plastic bag with some washers and Phillips screws. The Phillips screws will be used to attach that cup holder assembly to the inside of your storage compartment. That way it doesn't just come off easily. It's permanently mounted. Also the washer's in there. We need that to adjust the latch because keep in mind we're sandwiching something below the bottom and the top portions of that center console. So if you were to try to latch it at this point, you'd probably lock it in a position that you couldn't unlock it. So definitely make sure you adjust the latch using these washers first before you do the final shut of the console. Otherwise you're gonna be fighting for a while. So before you do any kind of install of the cup holder assembly, make sure your storage bin is completely empty in the center console. Now with everything removed, what I recommend doing is actually opening up the power outlet, get the protective cover out of the way, and what we're going to do is we're just going to drop the cup holder assembly down on top, and we're going to fish that cover through, go all the way down until it's fully seated, and go ahead and reinstall that protective cover. Now the initial install is basically done. Now all we got to do now is add a couple screws in a couple of locations and then we worry about the latch mechanism which is actually on the lid of the console. Now included in the packet with the instructions there's that plastic bag I mentioned with the self tapping Phillips screws and the washers. Now we're going to use the Phillips screws at this point. Now they gave us multiple screws we don't need all of them. Uh, this is what they recommend. They recommend you use some pressure both forward and downward to seat this thing nice and tight. Keep pressure on it. Now you have two options. You can put a screw going straight down or you can put a screw going to the front. It's just a matter of aesthetics as far as what you think looks pleasing to the eye or you could put one in both locations. It sits fairly firmly where it is already but this is just to keep it in place a lot more tighter especially when worrying about that latch being adjusted properly. So you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to put one to the front here. Now, it doesn't take much pressure. You could use your Phillips screw driver and your Phillips screw. But in this case, what I'm going to do is just drill a small hole. If it's still lined up, then I can just insert my screw. And it's not going to take me as much effort as it would have otherwise. Nonetheless, you don't have to drill it unless you want to. This is just my quicker method. Sometimes you want to work smarter than harder. Have that screw tightened down. Cup holder assembly is not going anywhere. Now we can move on to the latch assembly. Now I went ahead and took the upper console lid off. You don't have to, but if you want to, it's just four Phillips screws going right here on the hinge plate. 
down onto the console, take them off, then you can take this inside, work on the tabletop, wherever you need to. It's a little bit easier to get to versus it being up in the air in the truck. Now I know that this cover's been off before my truck because I can tell that some of the plastic trim is loose already, which means the snaps are probably broke. Yours hopefully will not be. Uh, what you're supposed to do is just grasp whatever area you can, get your hand up under it and start popping it loose. And take a little bit of force. Just take your time, go around the perimeter. Like I said, if it's got some age on it, there's always that possibility that it could break. Just try to gently. Now, I say gently because we're using force, but you know what I mean. Don't use big long pry bars. And there we go, we unsnap it. And like I said, on the bottom side of mine, I've got three of them broke off on the previous owner. Otherwise, it's just plastic fingers that snap on into little plastic guides. Now we've got access to get to that latch. Now what I want to do is I want to back off these two Phillips screws and take them all the way off. Once they're all the way off, this latch assembly will no longer be attached. And that's what we're going to be dealing with. We're going to be double stacking washers right here. We're going to sit them on top. We're going to sit the assembly down on top and then reinsert our Phillips screws. Now, the instructions said to use the two remaining screws that come in the bag uh, for the latch assembly. Uh, it says that these would be longer than the original ones, but what I found is the original ones are a lot larger in diameter than these little Phillips. And I also noticed that these are long enough once I put the washers in, so there's no problem with reusing these two Phillips screws. And what we'll do is we'll double stack the washers. Two on the front, two on the back, and basically we'll be sitting this down on top just like that. Like I said, we'll use the original hardware here and we shouldn't have any problems. Now, this is one reason why I like taking the console lid off the vehicle. Because if you're doing this in the vehicle, mind you, this lid is not flat, it's standing up. At that point, gravity is not your friend. So, I can actually see what I'm doing. Sit it down gently on top. And I can get my Phillips screwdriver and start to fill up screws. Don't tighten it down yet until you get the other one in place. And run them and snug them down. At that point, the latch assembly is higher than it was before. And one thing that Gino does mention in the instructions is about this L-shaped piece right here on the right side of the latch. They've had customers that would slam the lid shut, and when they did, they had problems opening it. What they do recommend doing is doing a slight modification to this so you don't have problems. Now this has to deal with the lid opening when the console is in the upright position. That way it doesn't just open and spill everything out. But usually the latch itself will not allow it to open anyway. So what they're doing is they're recommending a slight modification so that you never have a problem with not being able to open the latch. So you're just going to grab a pair of pliers. And bend it out of the way enough and there you go so that's what it should look like when you're done the L is now gone we straightened it out with a pair of pliers that way we don't have no problems if you're having to slam the lid shut now all I got to do is reinstall the plastic trim panel sit it in place just kind of push down around the perimeter and you'll hear the snaps you'll know if you got it or not and like I said, I know that the bottom ones over here are gone. They're no longer in place. If I'm having issues with one, I'll double check. But as far as the rest of the snaps I do have, they're firmly in place, no problems. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take this and put it back on the vehicle and just attach the four Phillips screws down here at the bottom. All right, just double check and make sure I've got those hinge screws all the way in like I should. I'm gonna over tighten it and strip them out, but I want them to be firm. Now we're going to go ahead and check the latch to make sure it's working fine. I hear the snap. I can verify that it's not coming up by itself and I can reach down the front, release it. Awesome. Cup holder assembly installed and latch working properly. So that way if I do pick up on it, I don't have to worry about everything spilling out the back side. I still got my seat there if I need it. Now I can go ahead and put everything back in place. Now once it's installed, it really does look OEM. I'll give them that much. The plastic being that as thick as it is on the sides, you don't have any excessive flex right here. It will move if you pull on it, 
but as far as where it sits normally, it's always going to be nice and tight up against the side of the console. You'd worry about any kind of cheap plastic wanting to flex too much or bind up. This actually does hold its position very well, and like I said, it matches the side of the contour. Now you get this angled view, you can see the contour on the side, and like I said, you can see the cup holders where they are and how they extend in front of the cover, so they do have ample room. As far as color, like I said, I stuck with the matte black. It kind of matches my upper cover that I've got. And not only that, the matte black finish on that actually matches the matte black finish on the lower cup holder assembly. So basically, you're not making it stick out like a sore thumb, just leaving it the way it is. So with the cup holder assembly in place, we can check out our cup fitment. The typical cup from your local fast food restaurant. Like I said, that's usually top heavy, fits in there perfectly. It's about two-thirds of the way down that it's actually surrounded by the cup holder, so it's not just grabbing the bottom. And of course, the cup holder's got little cutouts for handles too, so it doesn't just fit one style cup, it fits a lot. So now, not only does it fit well, but it's within arm's reach. I don't have no problem getting to it. Another cool thing, they got this nice little cutout right here where you can put your phone if you want. You can put all kinds of different things, change, uh, chewing gum, anything. All that fits right there. And like I said, it's easier to get to. I don't have to reach down here anymore. So at one point or another, you're probably going to ask that question, can I still use this middle front seat for a passenger? And their answer is yes. Now, yes, visually, when you lift up, you look, you see a cup holder assembly right here where the back of someone's head would be. That, I fully understand, is possibly being a problem, but here's the solution. Remember how many screws we used to attach that cup holder assembly in place? We used one. In worst case scenario, if you installed two so that it was a nice, tighter fit, all you got to do is back them out. It takes all of five to ten seconds to back those one or two screws out. You can take the cup holder assembly off, sit it somewhere neatly in the garage or somewhere so it doesn't break. And when you're done driving around with your sixth passenger or whoever's sitting up here in the front, just reinstall it. It's cut and dry. It's not going to take long. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver. And then you've got your seat back to being normal operation. And then when you want your cup holder assembly back in place, you just reattach it with the screws. So there you have it. If you were wanting seven cup holders, or if you wanted access to the cup holders you had at the front without having to reach all the way down, you know the solution. Now, where do you go to order this kit? Obviously, it's genosgarage.com. You can go online, check their online catalog, and you can also request a paper edition because there's nothing better than paper. You can thumb through here and see everything they have, quick and simple. Now, Genos has everything from maintenance items such as tools to do your services, filters and all for the services, and not to mention different accessories. There's things you can get at Genos you can't get anywhere else. And if you've watched all my videos over a period of time, you've heard me mention their name numerous times. Everything from that cabin filter kit, that came from Genos. Everything from that oil filter cap on that late model 6-7 oil change, that came from Genos. So definitely give them a shout out. I always recommend calling them. You can order online, but I'd rather just call them. Because once you call them and talk to them, you'll see they know what they're talking about. And you'll keep continuing ordering from them. And if you do call them and order something, tell them that David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic, sent you. So hopefully you liked the video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget you can like me on Facebook, you can check me out on Twitter and Instagram as well. And if you got any comments or suggestions about the video today about that cup holder assembly or anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram related, you can always email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com and I will always try to get back to you in a timely manner. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching these videos. You see, I'm getting nine cups in the truck now. There's got to be a way. <laughs>